Dear students, now we are going to discuss derivation of Campbell's equation and its uses in detail. Campbell's equation is mainly used to analyze the performance of lumped loaded line as we have already discussed in the previous lecture video. In lumped loading method, the inductance of a transmission line can be increased by placing a lumped inductors at uniform intervals along the transmission line. So here we are going to increase the inductance value in order to achieve the distortionless condition. Okay. So here this is the general equivalent circuit of the transmission line. The series impedance is the combination of inductance and resistance. The shunt admittance is the combination of capacitance and conductance in parallel. Okay, so here the series impedance can be represented as Z1 by 2. The shunt admittance can be represented as Z2. Okay, this is the simplified version of this equivalent circuit. The series impedance can be denoted as Z1 by 2. The shunt admittance is denoted as Z2. Z0 is the characteristics impedance of the transmission line. Okay, the T section values are given here. Series impedance is Z1 by 2, shunt admittance is Z2. Okay. Next, we are going to define the values of this series impedance and shunt admittance using hyperbolic function. Hyperbolic function is mainly used to analyze the shape of the electrical lines between two posts. Okay. So, here we are using hyperbolic function to represent the electrical line parameters okay so here sin h n gamma n gamma means here gamma represents the propagation constant n represents the distance between the two t sections okay sin h n gamma is equal to z naught by z2 from this we can get the value of this shunt admittance z2 is equal to z naught by sin h n gamma consider this as the first equation Next, cos h n gamma is equal to 1 plus the series impedance value z1 by 2 divided by the shunt admittance z2. From this, we can move this 1 to this side as minus. We can get z1 by 2 by z2 is equal to cos h n gamma minus 1. Okay. So, in the next step, we are going to move this z2 to this side as a numerator value. Okay. Then we can get Z1 by 2 is equal to Z2 cos H n gamma minus 1. Consider that as the second equation. So next we are going to substitute the first equation in the second equation. So we are going to replace this Z2 with the value Z0 by sin H n gamma. Then we can get Z1 by 2 is equal to Z0 by sin H n gamma into cos H n gamma minus 1. Consider this as the third equation. So next we are going to introduce the lumped loading method in the transmission line. Here we can consider the symmetrical section of the line from the center of one loading coil to the center of the next loading coil. So here we have drawn the equivalent circuit for this line. Correct? So here we are going to introduce lumped inductors with a distance capital N. The impedance of the lumped inductor is given as Zc by 2. Okay. After loading the equivalent circuit of a lumped loader line is given like this. So this Z1 by 2, Z1 by 2, Z2 represents the basic transmission line. Okay. After loading we can connect this Zc by 2 in series with the Z1 by 2. The combination of this Zc by 2 and Z1 by 2 is represented as Z1 dash by 2. That is the series impedance after loading. The same here is at 1 dash by 2. There is no change in this shunt admittance. Okay. After loading the line, the impedance of the T section including the loading coil is Z1 dash by 2 is equal to Zc by 2 plus Z1 by 2 since both are in series connection. So consider this as the fourth equation. Next, we are going to substitute the third equation in this fourth equation. 
then we can get z1 dash by 2 is equal to zc by 2 plus z1 by 2 can be replaced with the value z0 by sin h n gamma cos h n gamma minus 1. This is the fifth equation. So next we are going to analyze the propagation constant after loading that is denoted as gamma dash. From second equation we can write cos h n gamma dash is equal to 1 plus z1 dash by 2 divided by z2. So z1 is replaced with the term z1 dash after loading. So next we are going to substitute the first and fifth equation in the above equation. So we can replace this z1 dash by 2 with this fifth equation z2 with the first equation. So cos h n gamma dash is equal to 1 plus this z1 dash by 2 is replaced with the fifth equation that is zc by 2 plus z0 by sin h n gamma into cos h n gamma minus 1 divided by z2 value is first equation z0 by sin h n gamma. So next we are going to take the sin h n gamma as a common term for this value. So here zc by 2 multiplied with this sin h n gamma plus z0 into cos h n gamma minus 1 the whole divided by sin h n gamma then divided by this z0 by sin h n gamma. Then we can divide this to denominator. Then we can get 1 plus zc by 2 sin h n gamma plus z0 cos h n gamma minus 1 divided by z0. Then we can take this z0 for each term here and multiply this z0 inside this. Then we can get 1 plus zc by 2 into z0. We have to take this value in this denominator sin h n gamma plus here it is z0 cos h n gamma divided by z0 minus z0 divided by z0. So we can divide this values. Okay, here it's 1 plus zc by 2 z0 sin h n gamma plus cos h n gamma minus 1. So we can cancel these two values. Finally, we can get cos h n gamma dash is equal to zc by 2 z0 sin h n gamma plus cos h n gamma. This is the Campbell's equation. It, it's mainly used to calculate the propagation constant after loading the line and also calculate the effect of loading in reducing attenuation and distortion. Okay.